Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Wednesday to us all. We're already halfway through the week, so you know what that means. The only way is up, and we're closer to the weekend. Um, I am Lucha FM, and this is episode 44 of my Rafe Rover Save. Um, thank you to the people that continue to subscribe to my YouTube and follow me on Twitch when I'm doing TW 2020 wrestling simulation game um, content. So thank you for that. Much appreciated, as always. But anyway, let's crack on. So I didn't have a game for 17 days when I come back on. So I've just forwarded it. Um, holiday, sorry. And uh, we'll just go through all this. Um, we're playing Celtic or Arbroath. So I'm assuming Celtic in the Premier Sports semi-final. And uh, Redmond's back. Lewis Vaughan. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Lewis Vaughan out for three months. Uh, right. We'll praise him. Mr. Rios. He doesn't get much uh, praise because he just gets on with his job. He's like uh, an Argentinian Jordan Henderson. He just does the job well. Uh, Aziz, not played much, but done well when he has played. Oh, wrong. I meant to click on Aziz. He's only played like a few games, but he's got four goals in six games. Granted, a lot of the goals were in the Premier Sports. Um, but yeah, he's, he's a good little... Option to have in midfield when we need him. We got a new scout. Uh, not good ability, but really good potential. So that's good and good adaptability. So he will go anywhere and find good players for us, hopefully. Uh, we've had Lennon Miller called up to the Scotland and the 21 squad. So that's good. Uh, Craig Fisher has been called up to the Canadian under-20s. And Dorigo has been called up to Peru. Uh, this will probably backfire on us when we do that, but we'll do that for now. We'll praise him for doing well. Mike uh, Giles. Mike Gillies, sorry. One of our... So he's probably the next one. To like, you know, like we've got Gary Rui, I think he's going to be a really good player for us, like Rui is. Just needs a bit of, bit of time to settle in, I think. I was runner up in the manager of the month for September. Talking of Rui, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. Rui, it, it is Rui, isn't it? But yeah, he's a very good player. Let's see if we can get him a new contract because I want to get him on a higher. I mean, that is slightly higher, but not by much. But 14 million is better than 13 million, I think it was. Actually, let's have a look. thing is, you can't negotiate. That's the annoying thing about it. Yeah, 13 million. So we get an extra million if he goes. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice sounds really croaky. When I record these, um, even though I upload them for the afternoon, I'm recording them first thing in the morning, so... I live in a flat that's not the nicest flat in the world, so it affects my vocal cords first thing in the morning. Oh uh, yeah, sorry if I sound a bit croaky. I don't sound this bad when I'm streaming on Twitch, by the way, so feel free to follow me on uh, Twitch Mondays, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 2pm UK time. And you'll see me streaming um, TW 2020 Wrestling Simulation content, and I'm currently in charge of WWE and I'm nearly getting to Wrestlemania, booking Wrestlemania so um, feel free to come along or oh, watch the, I also put the replays on my YouTube channel so feel free to check the videos out there is a playlist specific, uh, specifically for TW content so you'll, be, you'll easily find it right we have got all of our strikers, well, pretty much all of our strikers back now. Hoyland and Oberfarmy. Where's Oberfarmy? Oh, there you go. Hoyland's on the bench. Oberfarmy will probably be on the bench as well at some point. But anyway, right, so here's our lineup for the first game of the episode. Pretty the same team that we played last game. So let's just get going. I still can't believe St. Mirren signed Thomas Muller on this save. I think that's hilarious. 
I just wish I'd flipping noticed him. I'd have signed him. That he would have been up there. He would have been a, a bigger name signing than uh, Danny Alley, I think, in some ways. Just because of the the amount of stuff he's won. Actually, I might try and sign him. See if he'll come to me. I know he probably won't actually because it's only October, but we can only try. I don't uh, make an offer. We ain't got no bloody money. Oh yeah, there you go. Right, we're going to try and sign Thomas Muller. I don't think we'll be able to get him just yet because he's only just signed from. <coughs> We're doing well this season. We're third at the moment, 14 points. Then again, we were doing well at the start of last season and it all went downhill mid-season. So we've just got to try and keep consistency or not peak so early. Probably a good idea. Good save by Dewhurst. Bit of a quiet first half. Not much has happened in this. I think that's the only highlight so far. Or literally one of the few highlights. I don't think there's been many. Good, good interception there by Maldini. Just like his dad there, isn't he? Oh, good save. Oh, I thought that was it. Anyway, right, second half. Let's go. Good header. Right, Hock, Hackney, what can he do? Carussell loses the ball, but we got it back. Okay, that, that was way too quick for me to concentrate on. But anyway, Ross Stewart scored after a 1-2, I think, with Dorigo. Da Arigo, sorry. But yeah, good. We're 1-0 up. We're now second. They've got a throw in there. Ah, 1-1. Right, let's try demand a bit more. Caroso needs to come off. Uh, who are we putting on for him there? We are lacking in wingers. Balboa? Uh, yeah, Balboa. Anybody else not playing well? Rui, but we'll leave Rui for now. I don't know, is it, is it just, is it just improved? So that's good. Right, Dorigo needs to come off, put Bowler on. Aldini needs to come off, we'll put Hoyland on. Right, Rui's got the ball, let's see what we can do. Let's get a let's get a late winner here. Good cross. Ooh. Ross Stewart could have done more there. Ah, uh, looks like it's going to be 1-1. One, one. That's disappointing. Queen's Park take over from us, but we got two games ahead of them, so it's not the end of the world. Two surprises in the top four of the Scottish Premiership when you got Queen's Park and Rafe Rovers there. Where's Rangers? Rangers are just below Aberdeen and not doing well. They might get relegated again. I still can't believe they were playing in the Scottish Championship in... Um, the second season we were in charge of Rafe Rovers uh, yeah so Rafe he doesn't want to come to us because apparently our stature in the game isn't big enough but yeah he went to St Mirren that makes sense to me we'll try again in January right, let's have a look see if there's anybody out there that we can sign so we'll go international Oh, we got contracts? No. So we do, yeah, that's fine. Contract status. And then we go caps. Oh, Paul Pogba. How long is he suspended for? Uh, we could sign him next year. 
Should we sign him now? We'll just sign him now. Even though he can't play for us. A waste of money, really, isn't it? But <laughs> I'm just thinking of the headline when I put it up, when I put the video up. Uh, is he, he's, a, he's pretty good, isn't he? Ah, he's 36. We won't bother. Pogba. I'm tempted to use the editor um, to get rid of his suspension. No, I won't. I won't. I have got the in-game editor, but um, I don't use it for... I don't use it for my offline saves now as well because it ruined the game for me because it made it too easy for me to just correct things. So I, ne I definitely don't use it when I'm doing content creation. It's a big no-no. People don't like that, so I don't do it. But if, it, if there's one time I was I want to do it is now. Ugh. I'll think about it. I'll figure it out. I'll just see if there's anybody else worth signing. If anything, it'll get us more shirts. Imagine that, poor Pogba. Poor Pogba at Rafe Rovers. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna I don't think we're gonna find anybody else that stands out. Uh Cyrus Christie, I think he's too old. Yeah, 34. I'll just leave it. I'm happy with bloody Paul Pogba though. Even though we're paying we'll be paying his wage for the next until next season. <laughs> Um, yep, that's fine. I'll be buzzing if we sign him. I don't think we can sign him if you suspend it though. Simply because of the, um, I think the deal, the transfer will get cancelled surely. All right, Duhurst progressing well in training, so we're going to give him a bit of praise. Give his morale a little boost. Right, Kilmarnock next. I'm not bothered about these matches now. I want to see a poor Pogba signs for us. Um, right then. Pretty straightforward team. I don't think there's any... I think Welsh, is, Welsh and Davis. I, don't, I can't remember if they were the starting back four. Starting partnership in defence, sorry. But I think they were. Um, and then Boulder is in on the left. So let's see how we can. Hoyland yet to get back in the team. Stewart's made that position his own now, I think. I think the only way Hoyland gets back in the team is if we get an injury to Ross Stewart, which I hope doesn't happen because he's doing well this season. He's got five and eight games. But we'll see. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully there's a redemption arc for Hoyland. You never know. And we've got Oba, Oba Femi, who's still my top goal scorer for the season. He scored seven goals in three games in the Premier Sports Cup. So I'm more likely to put Oba Femi on before Hoyland at this point. Especially when Hoyland went like 20 games without a goal. Ooh. Right. Let's try and up the tempo a bit. They... We are. It's been a bit, a bit of a rubbish game for the fans, to be honest. Right, good save. Now let's see what we can do. Can we get a goal just before half time? I feel like our confidence has dropped since the last episode. Last episode, we won every game. We were doing well. Ah, oh, it was a good goal. He's a good striker, he is. I didn't I try and sign him before. He's on my shortlist, isn't he? Yeah, so I must have tried to sign him before. 
Maybe he could be the replacement for Hoyland. We might have to get rid of Hoyland. How much is Hoyland rated at the moment? Valued. He's not even on the subs bench. Maybe he's injured. Right, let's berate the players. Let's see if that will fire them up. Uh, nothing so far. Oh, we got a shot. We've had another shot. Right, Maldini, you're knackered. You're coming off. Uh, we'll put on Escalente. We'll give him a go. And then we'll take you off. And uh, we'll take you off. Uh, I need to swap him around. Right. Right back. Oh, he can play there. That's all right. Yeah, we'll put Walsh. Walsh is slightly better as right back. <clears throat> there we go. It's more like it. Go on, Ross Stewart. Moller. I feel like we're missing Deli Ali as daft as that sounds. It just gives us that extra, a bit of extra creativity that we miss. Right, go on, Moller. Yes, get in. Ah. Uh, here we go, VIR coming to poop on our parade. Come on, ref. Yes, get in. Right, Diara. Diara, you can't come off. We haven't got anybody to put on for you. Right, we are, so you can come off because I can actually put somebody on for you. So that's fine. So. We could do with getting a win here. We don't want to start going down a, a route of getting draws all the time. Especially when we've got Rangers catching up with us in the top four. <sighs> right, playing Celtic in the League Cup semi-final. Rui signs a new contract with us, that's good. I don't know what's going on there. It wouldn't let me click on the inbox then. There we go. I think it's my mouse pad playing up. I've had this laptop for a while now, so people who know what it's know to have a laptop, they know what it's like with the left mouse pad thing, it just gets battered over time. Right then, with Warner's back in defence, he's playing with Sutar. Rui, right back, along the left back, with Duras as always. And goal, Hackney, and then we've got Liber in midfield today. Um, we've got Deli Ali back, and Dorigo's on the left. Hoyland's playing up front, so there you go. Bit of a rotated team here. Let's see what Hoyland can do. Good to see Deli Ali back as well. We're second still. We've got a game in hand over Queen's Park. So technically, if we win this game and Celtic lose, we'll go top, maybe? I don't know. But we are playing Hearts. We're a very good team. Right, there we go. Let's go. Go on, Delhi. Look at that bit of class. Look at that. He knows how to, play. He knows how to take a player on. Didn't lead to anything though, fortunately. But at least we got it away from Hearts. Hearts dominating this game so far. Let's just try and demand a bit more. See if that will improve it. Back to being third now. Hibs have overtook us. It wouldn't be the end of the world getting a draw against Hearts. They are a better team than us. Oh, balls. I had a feeling that was going to happen. 
They've just been really dominant. Alright, let's do a bit of shouty shouty at the players. Uh, we need to take two players off already. Right, Oberfemi, let's see what he can do. Let's see if he can impress. Hoyland did not impress me very much. Oh, what's happened here? Get off. Right, we've uh, we've improved a little bit in this second half, but we can always do better. They've got a corner there. I reckon this is going to be 2-0 to them. Yep, I just had that feeling. Can't take any more players off either. Oh well. So, so I know it's only the Scottish Premiership, but there's some, there's some good teams in here that we are not as good yet. We know we're not as good as them at the moment. We need to improve. And I feel like it's that mid-season lull now where we're just going to draw and lose a lot of games. I need to figure this out quickly. Oh god, we got Rangers next game as well. That's the last thing we need. Right, on that note, I'm going to leave you to it for... No, I'm not. Sorry. Ignore that. Uh, we'll do this game and then I'll call it a day for this episode. Rangers won 4-0, so they probably overtook us yet. We are now fifth in the league, so we're going further and further down. Right, can I do anything team meeting maybe? Encourage. There we go, that'll help a bit. Right, we've had a work permit. Uh, October the 24th, so four days' time. So just before the Rangers game, we'll find out whether we've signed him or not. Warner's not happy, so we're going to get rid of him. Shame, though, because I like Warner. He's a good player, but he keeps moaning. So you're best off just getting rid of him when they're like that. We'll put a potential clause in there. So if he does well, we can make money on him. Oh, Ross Stewart out for four or five weeks with a hernia. That means we're, I think Ober family is going to have to start next game. Hoyland can't be trusted at the moment. Oberfemi? Oberfemi. Yeah, I said it right. By the way, if you haven't watched Trigger Point, watch Trigger Point. It's literally one of the best British dramas there has ever been. Trust me. Vicky McClure is a great actress as well. So definitely watch that. Right. Not long now. To see if we've got Pogba in. And then hopefully, um, sorry, I got distracted. Right. Um, oh god, my backup goalkeeper's up for three or four weeks now as well. Have we got any? How many goalkeepers have we got? So we've we've got him. Uh, can we call up anybody from the under-21s for now? Yeah, we can. We've got some in the reserves. McCory can come. Yeah, no, actually, no, we'll just do him because he is better. No, we'll, we'll go for the experience because he's not going to play, so we'll just call him up. Okay, so at least that covers us in the goalkeeping stakes.
Ah, we're going to repeal it. So we'll know on the 30th of October. So we will see. We'll have to come back next episode for that. For that conclusion. Right, Rangers, big game ahead of us now. We definitely need to win this, right? So, Hoyland is favoured, but we're not going to put him in. We're going to put Oberfemi in there. Oh, sorry, let me go through the lineup. I don't think there's many changes. Davis is in defence. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. Basically, the main core of the team is there still. Uh, I definitely wouldn't mind a. I definitely need a win, actually. I don't want to draw. We just keep sliding down the table here. <clears throat> right, there we go. We've got possession. Go on over, Femi. Already doing more than probably Hoyland did last game. Suter. That was a terrible pass, Suter. We've still got possession, though, at the moment. Uh, you never know. Diara uses his pace. Great pass. Ah, uh, it's unfortunate. Yeah, we've still got possession. This is this highlight hasn't ended just yet. Oh, here we go. Go on over, Bemi. Uh, I thought he was going to take him on there. Go on, Rui. Yes! Go on. On Neil. That's what we like to see. Go on. If we get another one, we'll be laughing. Go on. Go on over, Femi. For this beautiful little pass. Oh, that was not a beautiful pass. Curse of the commentator again. Got possession again, though. Fair play, Hackney. Go on. There we go. Rios. Cross to Rui. Rui getting, um, doing well on that right flank today. He's up for this game. Go on, Hackney. Yes! Get in. 2 0. We have. Absolutely bamboozled them in this game. This is a great response after the previous games. Ah, here we go. No, nope, we've headed it out for now. Oh, there we go. That's fine. We just keep keep trying our best to get this out. Ah, I feel like that's offside. The VAR are going to come to our rescue, maybe? No, I don't know. The players have gone all the way back there, so they assume it's in. Ah, damn it. Ugh. Ugh, they're going to get an equaliser before the first half ends, aren't they? It's just like watching Man United versus Man City all over again, getting false hope. Come on, let's get the ball back. Oh no. Thank God for that. Right, let's get this first half ended now. Come on. My nerves need a break. Right, let's demand a little bit more. Let's kill this game off now, I think. We win this. We've got two games ahead of Queen's Park and Hearts. So, uh, the Celtic, they're, they're, they're going to win the title again by the looks of it. They've only played nine games, already got 24 points there. You're going to have to have a perfect season to uh, take the title off Celtic by the looks of it. Then again, Rangers won it last season, I think. That was a bad pass, Rios. You can do better than that. Oh, God, here we go. Come on, get the ball back. Get the ball back. No. <gasps> oh, that's all right. Thank God for that. 
Right, our players are knackered. Let's just hope we can see this game up now. We get another goal. We are over the finish line. We can relax. We just don't want any highlights to go to Rangers. Oh, come on. We can't be, get, we can't be doing sloppy passes. I need to do focus. I need focus. Damn it. Ah. Oh. Bloody hell, Ryan Christie. He's, he's played for Celtic, didn't he? Played for Celtic. He's, got, he's played for Inverness, Aberdeen, Celtic and Rangers. I don't think I've known many players that have played for Rangers, Celtic and Aberdeen in their career. So we're going to lose this game now. This is going to be really annoying. <sighs> Thank God for that. A lot of tired players here. I need to rest some players for the next game. Ah, oh, that is such a shame. That is such a shame. At least we didn't lose, but another bloody draw. Not the best of episodes for us, really. Um, right then, on that note, I'll be back tomorrow the next episode and then we'll hopefully figure out whether we're getting popper in or not so yeah thanks as always um and i'll be back tomorrow all the best bye